Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. It is a chilly morning today. It is officially fall, my favorite um, season of the year, but man oh man, is it ever cold. It's freezing out. Uh, I had to wear a jacket and gloves this morning to walk the dogs. It is like only six degrees. <laughs> it's freezing, but I like it. Just don't like the a lot of snow, but I like the cooler weather. All right, so listen up, guys. I've got some new workshop information for you guys. So listen up for those of you who are interested in workshops, okay? I'm going to give you the lowdown of all the workshops that I have coming up. So let's start with this uh, October 2nd. I have my resin top coating workshop, all right? I will be teaching how to apply resin onto your uh, acrylic pouring canvases, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to top coat your paintings. I've got one spot left, so that is Sunday, October 2nd, here in London, Ontario, in my home studio, if anyone is interested. Next, I have opened up another acrylic pouring workshop, that is going to be on October 22nd. Six spots only, that is it. So if you are interested in coming to learn how to do the Dutch pour, you will be learning how to paint on two canvases. You'll do a white base Dutch pour and a black base Dutch pour. So if you are interested, again, here in London, Ontario, um, you can email me for the information. Next workshop we all know is Texas. I will be heading to Dallas, Texas uh, this November 17th, 18th, and 19th. And I am going to be there with eight other YouTubers as well. So it's going to be a huge event and I will be there teaching all kinds of stuff. White base, black base, color split base, Dutch pours. So if you are interested in information for that workshop, you can check out the website fluidartexperience.com. Then I've got my workshop with Tammy Anderson. That's the Fluid Art Creative Escape workshop. That is happening in February on the 18th and 19th in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you are interested in getting information for the Charlotte, North Carolina, workshop, you can email Tammy and I at fluidartescape at gmail.com. And last but not least, Tammy and I have decided to head to the West Coast. You may have heard that in my last couple of videos. Tammy and I are going to be heading to California. That'll be at the beginning of May of 2023. So, we don't have all the info yet, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we are finally heading to the West Coast and we will be in California early May of next year. So keep that in mind. And then the last quick thing I wanted to mention is here in my home studio, I do my workshops. I teach you guys how to do a canvas, usually on a 14 by 14 inch canvas. If anyone is interested, I was thinking of doing a class where you learn to do a big piece, potentially either an 18 by 24 or a 20 by 20. So a much larger piece. I wish I could go bigger, but it won't allow for the space on my table. But I'm thinking about 20 by 20, something like that. So is there any interest for um, you guys to come and visit me here in my home studio and learn how to do a Dutch pour with bigger compositions and more wispies and all of that on a much bigger canvas. So if that's something that interests you, um, you can email me at canellaseraco at gmail.com and let me know your thoughts or put it in the comments below, all right? Um, really quickly, I'm going to show you guys the dried results of the last painting. Uh, it dried beautifully. Obviously, it doesn't move because it's on a dry base, but you can see the definite shimmer in this painting, and uh, I really love the way it dried. So there's that. This is on a 16 by 16 inch canvas. It is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. You can email me. All right, so that's it. I'm going to get started on today's lesson or video or pour, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to bring it down, get myself set up, and I'll be right back. 
All right, everybody, let's get started. So what I have here is a 15 by 30 inch canvas. Now, my idea for this piece is actually for the composition and the canvas when I'm done with it is to be vertical, but because it won't allow me to put it vertical and you'd be too far away for camera angles, I'm doing it this way for now, but my idea is when it's done and dry and finished, it is to be going vertical. Now, uh, my base paint is my uh, Titanium White by Amsterdam. Now I have this big jug here that I like to just fill up with my concoction, which is water and Floetrol. For those of you who are new watching and want to know how I mix my paints for the perfect Dutch pour, uh, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for you guys. And same as in here, it's my Amsterdam. I use this for my edges. Now the colors I'm using are gonna be blue, only blue, and I'm gonna go through them super quick, but here's my idea. I thought I'd try something different. I'm gonna start here and start dark and make my way up here, and it's gonna end up with a light. So kind of like a gradient starting dark and ending up to light, which is why my composition and my canvas would look best if on a vertical um, view. So, all right, um, I, I've got Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. Then I have Thalo Turquoise by Holbein. Then I have Windsor Blue by Windsor & Newton. Then I have Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. And then topping it off, I have Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam. So those are gonna be my dark to light colors. But then I wanted to add shimmer, obviously, to these colors because none of these are metallic or iridescent. And so I'm going to add in between Pewter by Deco Art, color I haven't used in a long time, Deep Sapphire by Deco Art, so another color I haven't used in a really long time, Pearl Ocean Blue by Arteza, then I've got Pearl Sky Blue by Arteza and then Pearl Arctic Blue by Arteza. So these are gonna be my dark going to light. And then in between, I'm going to add 24 karat gold. So that's the plan. And so I'm going, what I'm going to do is um, a layer of this followed by a layer of this. Somewhere in between, I'll throw a layer of gold and then to t on top, I'm gonna throw a layer of this, all right? I know it sounds confusing, but I'm hoping it'll all come together. So that is the plan. Let me put these all back in the order I had. Took me a while to get all these colors figured out in the way I wanted it to go. So that's all been put aside, all right? I'm gonna be using my flower hair dryer. I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, canvas is flooded, ready to go here. So let me see, let me put these the way I normally do so I don't mess anything up. Okay, and then gold here in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the blue, the dark blue, and I'm gonna go in, there's five colors, so let's see how I'm gonna do this. I haven't really, and my key, the key here is not to blow on the ends. I want this all to stay in the center kind of thing. There's no wispies happening here. Um, don't really want to do wispies. So I think I'm going to start here and kind of end up, I don't know. I didn't really think about this. Uh, like this, up here, back down and back up. I don't know. I don't know. I, I might regret not knowing this before. All right. So we'll do that. And then we've got this. I'm not closing the lids because I'm still going to put another layer on top. Okay, whoa, 
All right, let me concentrate and finish this. Like so. I'm liking it so far. I think I should have went a little longer with this, just a bit. Or maybe not, because the ends tend to blow off when I do these kind of things, as we know from the rainbow pieces that I normally do. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to add my shimmer colors on top. All right, and I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who wished me a happy birthday. That was super kind of all of you. My birthday was on Tuesday. Uh, I had a volleyball game that went really well. Very competitive league um, and we won, which is great. And then on Thursday, I play in a different league, which isn't as competitive. It's more like, you know, recreational pickup volleyball. So that was fun too, but definitely the Tuesday league, I'm feeling it, let me tell you. All right, so now I'm gonna add my gold. Oh, this is gonna be pretty if it works out the way I want it to. Okay, I'll close the gold because I ain't using any more of that. And now I'm gonna go back with this last color on top. Okay, I guess I can close the lids now as I go. And we'll see how this turns out. So anywho, volleyball was super fun. I'm clearly out of shape, definitely sore, let me tell you, uh, very sore. <laughs> but that was expected. And note to self, which I've already gone ahead and done, but knee pads. Definitely need knee pads. I was not wearing knee pads on Tuesday's game, at Tuesday's game. And let me tell you, my knees suffered. I have a big, I think I ripped the skin off one of my knees. And it's healing nicely, but uh, there's definitely a big old ugly scab right now <laughs> happening on my right knee. But hey, that's... Uh, the way it goes right I'm just closing all these lids on the shimmer paints because I guess I don't need them so what have I done one two three four layers should be enough and hopefully there's enough shimmer but you can see the gold is just swallowing up um, the colors here that's okay I'm not gonna do any more I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna stick to what I had in my mind I'm gonna pop the bubbles And let's see what happens. So I guess I'm going to start here in the middle. I thought about starting on the end and just blowing my way up. You know, that goes against everything I always say about starting on the end and going in one direction. Because, you know, I always talk about starting in the middle or starting where there's a wispy and fanning my way out to the outsides. I always say that in all my videos or almost all my videos but I'm wondering if this time I should just do it differently and try something different um, where I start here and fan out the bottom so that I can get the bottom going, but then continue by fanning out this way instead of starting in the middle. I don't know what to do. Oh, sugar. Okay, I'm scared to try it the other way. Maybe I'll start here and fan out the dark blue and then go go that way. I'll try it. And if, you know, it bites me in the butt, it bites me in the butt. It is what it is. I'm going to start here in this big puddle and just blow down this way to get the dark, dark blue fanned out. And then I'll continue my way up. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck.
<laughs> you know what? Okay, so that worked out super well. First off, I'm glad none of it came off the edges here. Super happy. Loving how it starts really pewtery space grayish down here. And then, oh my goodness, the color here. These are my favorite colors. And it just turns into a light blue. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, I'm wondering if there's any tweaking that needs to happen here. I'm tr I am think I'm going to try to get, oh my gosh, I can't even, my legs hurt so bad. All right, I'm gonna blow a little bit of this because I want a little more of this dark, dark um, blue to come out. So let's see what I can do here. Okay, that's about all I can do for that. What I'm gonna do is add some white here because my canvas is kind of dry and the paint's not really running down the way I want it to. There we go, that's better. All right, so that's good. I'm going to tweak this a little bit. Oh my goodness, I love this blue. It's my favorite. All right, so, oh my gosh, I love this. Here's what I'm thinking because I'm really liking this design idea. So I'm going to do this again, but with a different color palette, let's say purples, for example. But what I'm going to do next time is, so I added my first layer, then I added the shimmer, then I added the gold. No, next time I'll add the first layer, then the gold, then shimmer, then the, the first layer again, because I feel like the gold, even though I went very light handed with the gold, it's not bad, I really like it, but I would prefer it to be a little less dominant maybe in the piece. But, uh, oh, I'm loving this. Okay, nothing else I'm tweaking on here. I'm going to fix up my edges and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody, so before we get to the close-up, don't forget to take your stick and scrape those drips. That's right. All right, there you go. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't like that. Looks like some blue paint. All right, so let me show you first the way I, and of course I have my light on, so that doesn't help. Let me turn that off on this side and come back. All right, so this is my vision, is to start dark and move its way up to light right? That is my vision for this piece, for it to be vertical, all right? But in that, in the meantime, let me show you guys the close-up, but I'm going to turn my light back on because it really makes a difference. See? Alrighty, so it it's so rich and vibrant in color. I cannot wait till this dries. So this has the dark space grayish blue look then we move into this beautiful blues oh i love 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 this blue i love blue but these rich royal blues are my favorite sapphire blue of course because i'm born in september and that's the color of september is sapphire and then we move up here to the light blue all right, so I'm gonna turn the lights off, put the flash on, and let's check out the shimmer. 
All right, so I've got the flash on and holy moly, wow, that gold. See, I contemplated between gold and silver and yes, silver would have looked beautiful with blue, but it definitely wouldn't have made all these really nice cells. I may try again. Um, we'll see. But I, you know, I, I love silver more than gold in general, but when it comes to these paintings, I really truly believe the gold really just does way better than the silver. So, so shimmery. Look at the shimmer. Love it. Love, love, love it. I could just stare at this all day long. It's so pretty. All right. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you think about this in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to check out all the information in the description below. It'll give you all the details for discounts on products, for information on the workshops in Texas and in North Carolina, um, you know, all that information. Um, so I'm thinking of trying this again, but maybe I'll use purples next. Um, let me know what you think. Should I try this again with a different color palette? Um, and yeah, this is available for purchase if anyone is interested. You can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, that's it for now, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you are new watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And that is it for me for now. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.